This is a video tour of 255 North Michigan, number 25. Um, as you'll notice, it's raining really, really heavy right now. And so I'm gonna probably do just the inside of the house and hopefully it will kind of soften a bit before I need to come back outside. Um, but here is a view of the parking lot to the west of this structure. Um, so that way you can see that. And we'll just go ahead and go inside and kind of start from there. So walking into the property here, and you come in on hardwood floors, which I would say are original to the property. Um, it does look like, you know, there was a little bit of peeling lacquer and stuff here and there. I mean, they could use to be stripped and refinished, but overall they're not in bad condition. It's just kind of cosmetically different. Um, the paint here so far is pretty rough in that you can tell that they've painted in places. Here's a big hole in the wall from the doorknob. Um, but all the paint is just like one layer. And so you can see through that layer in all different places. Uh, there's a pretty distinct paint line here going up the wall. I'm not really sure what that was about. You can see the paint coming over the edge of this banister. Um, okay, so then turning to my left when we come in the front door, you've got an ADT security system here on the wall. Again, paint's just kind of rough on this back wall. And this brings you into a three-quarter bath right off the front door. So ceramic tile flooring here in the bath. You have popcorn ceilings, um, one of those mirrors that has storage behind it. And then behind this door here is the access to your shower, which is what makes this a three quarter bath. So a little bit of just kind of like growth in between the seam here that could stand to be scrubbed out, potentially re -caulked. Okay, so then going back out into the hallway and again, just with the paint here, um, I'm gonna turn to my left, which is going to bring me towards the front room. Um, so before we hit the front room, directly to my left here is a little alcove for storage. And this brings you into the actual front room in the property. So again, I mean, it's all painted white, but the paint is super patchy. I mean, it all really needs to be painted it over because it's just pretty sloppy looking, generally speaking. Um, the window is a vinyl double pane window that slides back and forth and it looks pretty nice. Turning here, so I'm in the corner of the living room, just kind of facing towards that hallway again. And I just want you to see like there's streaks on the wall up here. The paint's pretty rough on that wall. Um, and you can see on the ceiling around this fan, there's a lot of like paint difference there. And I don't know if it's because they had water or what was going on there. We'll get a little bit closer and see what we can see. So it looks like they tried to paint sections of the ceiling, but they painted with a completely wrong color. Um, this is definitely from water intrusion. It looks like they tried to cover it a little bit, but you can see kind of the brown underneath here that's pretty common with water. Um, okay, so then this is the view out of the back of the property. You can see that there is a deck on the back of this property, which looks really nice overall. Air conditioning system. As you know, the HOA does external maintenance, uh, but you can see that this siding could use some work. I mean, it's kind of eaten up at the bottom there. There's a little bit of rot right here. Um, and then some sections kind of up the side here that could also use some attention from what I can see. Okay, so then swinging back around towards the kitchen here. And um, the kitchen is sort of a galley style kitchen, a little bit wider than a galley style kitchen. You do have a Formica countertop. The edge is unfinished on either side here. Um, stainless steel oven and microwave and refrigerator here. They've painted over the cabinets. Um, so these would have been the original cabinets, this dark brown, and they've painted over them white. 
But what I would say is they didn't strip them before they painted them. And so the problem with that is that paint's gonna chip off and wear off pretty easily over time. As you can see where people have put their fingers, it's already kind of chipped off and wear it off. Um, so deeper sink here in the kitchen. And then you have this kind of like interesting plexi situation here that I think was meant to be like a cutting board but it just looks kind of weird because this whole section is like raw wood and then it's got like this, I don't know, like plasticky sort of inlay here. So window here in the kitchen is again, vinyl and double pane. So, so far my overall thoughts on this is that cosmetically it's really um, pretty sloppy and could use a lot of work in that realm. Um, the smell in the property kind of smells like cologne. Um, I think it smells nice actually. So, okay. Heading down into the basement, looks like the light is not working super well, but I do want you to notice there's a big patch here in the wall heading down to the basement. There are several places where you can see that they've patched the wall too, which look like probably nail holes. Um, going down the stairs here, um, the rise and run on these are a little bit different and you can see they've replaced this top stair at some point. So headed down into this basement space, um, the gap from these stairs to the lip of this ceiling is really low because I'm only 5'2 and I would still hit my head on this coming down if I didn't duck. Okay, so swinging around, we are now in the basement here and I don't know how easy this is gonna to be to see just because that light bulb is not working. So 